Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Dirty Pat Walsh channel on YouTube with me, your host, Dirty Pat Walsh. <clears throat> How you all doing? I hope you're doing well. Um, this, uh, <laughs> what this means is so we're going to be doing another uh, nasal snuff review. Uh, thank you to the suit and tie dip and chew guy. So, uh, by the way, he's back in action. So check him, check out his channel. He's uh, him and Bergs are the two best dip review channels on the on the tubes that I would say. Uh, excuse me. Um, so this particular snuff, it's a British snuff made by uh, Wilson's of Cheryl, um, established seventeen thirty seven. See the label there. It's called a pre, which is uh, means it's apricot. Apricot's pretty um, well well liked scent in in nasal snuff, from what I can tell. Um, so yeah, check this out. This is just a, this is a container. It doesn't screw on. It just is a lift off. I believe it's a five gram container. But that is what you see inside the can. Uh, it's not really light and fluffy like a like a German product, but it's also not uh, as powdery dry as an American product. So some English snuffs can be pretty pretty damn dry, but uh, yeah, I'm still dealing with some congestion issues, so we're gonna take it. Take it nice and easy today. Alright. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's it's clinging to my knife, see? So the moisture level is pretty good in it, actually. And there's a little ball of it rolling around that's clumped together on my hand. But, uh, yeah, so for an English snuff, it's quite, looks to be quite nice, uh, and, and, you know, not so dry at all, actually. But I can smell the, uh, the apricot, um, coming off, off my hand right now. Um, the, the other, one of the, at least one of the other apricots I got, uh, Keswick by, uh, Samuel Gaywith, uh, Snuff company. This is also, a, I believe I got the right one. This is also an apricot snuff that uh, is much less scented like apricot and much drier as well. So let's give this a hoot and see. Mmm, that's really nice. Oh, it's got a nice little burn to it. But it's got it's very uh, it's very easy to take for a non mentholated snuff, um, and it does smell very strongly of apricot. Uh, but there's also there's something in there that it's kind of like a. Yeah, it's it's almost like a there's something oh, I don't know how to describe it. Um I I got to say for a non-mentholated English stuff, uh this one is very easy to take. Um and it's it lives up to its its name. Uh it's very very apricotty. Um non-mentholated um, yeah, this is a really interesting, uh, interesting snuff. Suit and tie, Dip and you guys sent me a number of, uh, fruity snuffs that I think I've reviewed most of. Um, sent me some blueberry, 
and he sent me some, uh, maybe that's the only one. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. I think, I'll have to check, I don't think I've done the strawberry yet, but uh, I'll have to go back and check. Because I have had, I've taken a pinch of this before, and the, the, the scent that I'm smelling is also present in this. Um, maybe it's just the tobaccos they use, maybe it's uh, just something in the, the general foundation for what they sent the oil, or sent, you know, sent the, the snuff with, excuse me, um, but it's really good, I, I really like it a lot, um, I am a big fan of apricot scented snuffs, uh, oh yeah, no, it's really nice, um, yeah, for some reason, apricot really translates well over to snuff territory you know like uh it, it's just it goes really well with tobacco um it's almost like it's like like peach dip you know what i mean like uh you know uh, kayak excluded <laughs> um peach dip is usually the one the fruity dip that most non-fruity dippers would say is a decent, a decent flavor for dip. Um, oh, they just got another wave of apricot. It's really beautiful. This really, this 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 snuff. Yeah, like what I was gonna say is like it seems like uh, whereas peach is a pretty well accepted uh, flavor in dip, um, apricot is uh, very well used and favored scent in snuff. Um, this snuff has a lot of body to it, you know. Um, it doesn't just feel like you've sniffed some dry powder up your nose. Like, it, it kind of fills your... Uh, like, it really fills... It really just, like, fills your face with, uh, with a beautiful apricot scent. So, yeah. I'm going to give, uh, you know, for packaging, I like these little smash boxes, but um, they aren't the safest thing to carry around in your pocket. You know, I, if they had a screw on top, they'd be bulletproof, but uh, they don't. So, but I do like, I also do like the, the tin, you know, because it's easy if you're just at home and you want to take a pinch, you know, there you go. How you doing? In the words of... Uh, Crow, Wayside Lee, 83. How you doing? Um, he's got some new videos up to you. The Crow Show is one of my favorite channels on YouTube. I gotta say that right now. Um, so yeah, what, you know, so packaging's pretty okay. Like, I'd give it a 7 out of 10 for the packaging. And uh, for the product itself, for what it is... Uh, I'm going to have to give it a, I'm going to give it a 8.39 8 uh, for the, the actual product itself. It's a really good product. Um, not my favorite, but uh, for a, just a straight up fruit scented snuff. It's not bad. It's really, it's actually really good. So, thank you, suit and tie dip and chew guy. If you do not, uh, if you're not familiar with the suit and tie dip and chew guy, and you have an interest in smokeless tobacco, please check out his channel. Uh, it's simply that suit and tie dip and chew guy. He gives very concise, information heavy, uh, non biased reviews on basically everything on the market. Um, and the same goes, and anyway, I bring, I bring him up not only because he, he sent me this can of snuff, and thank you very much for that, um, he, uh, he just, he was on a brief hiatus from making videos, so he's making videos again, so, yeah, if you have an interest in tobacco at all, go check him out, it's awesome, um, and, uh, I'm gonna throw Berg's in there as well, because Berg's, 
of Berg's Dip Reviews uh, does exactly the same thing, you know. Um, concise, thorough, really good smokeless tobacco reviews. So, uh, and yes, indeed. I call him the Dip Father. But, uh, yeah, so there you go. That's my review of the Wilsons of Cheryl. Whoops. Wilsons of Cheryl, a pre English nasal snuff. It's all right. All right. Um, so, yeah, thanks for checking out uh, the I Am Made of Fire live at the Bovine. Uh, I, I know the sound quality is pretty hard, hard to deal with. Um, it's just that's really the only option I had to record it was putting my cell phone in the middle of the stage, you know. And uh, I tried to get everybody in the band in the shot as well. I, obviously, I didn't get much of anybody in the shot but me. But uh, you can hear Glenn really loud. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's, and, you know, I've gotten some... The, it's gotten a, a few view, views, um doesn't seem like too many people really like it, <laughs> but uh, the comments I have gotten from the people who I get, I, I, the, the people who do like it, uh, like Kurt Gainford, um, he said, uh, uh, we sound, we sound like old uh, faces, or uh, like when the face, uh, you know, the faces, Rod Stewart's old band, and and Rod, that band, I've all, I've often said over the last twenty years that pretty much every garage rock band uh, going aspires to sound like the Faces, whether they know it or not. You know, so that's a very high compliment to to me, Kurt. Thank you very much. And uh, and Hillary and Dan uh, Dempster also left really nice comments. So thank you both. Uh, yeah, thank you all for checking out my stuff and uh, sticking around. But all right, I will see you later, everybody. Uh, be well, stay free, and uh, yeah, just be awesome. Have an awesome day.